guys, it is me, Stace. I'm back today with another Cricut Explorer video. We're also doing our Make It On Monday project, and today we're making a really fun hot air balloon card. I did use the marker tool and add the text there that says, thanks for the pick me up. Then we have the inside there as well. This is a larger card. This is a five by seven. Then you also have the coordinating envelope as well. And right, let's go to the computer and we will get started. Alrighty, at the computer, you wanna to go to design.cricut.com. You will see this screen. Enter in your email and your password. Click on sign in. When you see your name at the very top, that verifies that you were logged in. On this screen, we're gonna scroll down until we come across the what's new for Cricut Access. Click on see more. The project we are making is a hot air balloon card. Go to click on that. This will bring up the preview window. Bottom right, click on customize. Now this does make a five by seven card along with the matching envelope. All right, the first thing here I wanna do is change the colors of each piece. I'm gonna click on the envelope. The right hand side toolbar under layers, you will see the highlighted area. That lets you know here what piece you have selected. And I can see it as the envelope. I'm gonna click on the color and make that be a white one. I'm gonna do the same for each piece here. So I'm gonna click on my card base, find that my layers tab and change that to be an orange color. I'm gonna change the blue to a brown color. And I'll change the white piece to a blue color. All right, so I do like everything here, but I also wanna change the color of the balloon. So I'm gonna drag that over, having it selected. The right hand side toolbar, the very top under layers, click on ungroup. Now we're able to separate each piece. All right, I do want my balloon base to be the same color brown. On the right hand side toolbar, click on color sync. We can see all the colors we're using. I can see my green here. I'm gonna click on that and drag it to the brown layer. The green layer, I want to be orange. So I'll drag that to the orange layer. And the purple, I wanna make that be blue. I'm gonna bring everything back on my card to make sure I like the colors that I chose. That gray piece, I'm okay cutting that out, cutting that out in gray. All right, so I do like everything except for the plain brown piece here. I actually wanna cut the top part of that out in a pattern paper. I'm gonna drag that back over, move this out of my way and cut a circle to fit the top part of that balloon. Left hand side toolbar, click on shapes. I'm gonna click on the circle. Having the circle selected, top toolbar under size, leaving your lock locked. I'm gonna type in 2.55 and then click on enter. I can bring that over and I can see it's gonna fit on top of that. So now I'm able to cut this piece on a pattern paper but still leave my base of the balloon that brown color. I'm gonna move that out of my way. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is duplicate each cloud. So I'm gonna click on the cloud here, the right-hand side toolbar again under layers at the very top, click on duplicate, drag that one over. And I'm gonna do the same for each cloud. So click on the next one, right-hand side toolbar, click on duplicate, and the last one here, click on duplicate. Now I do wanna attach these to the envelope using the marker tool, but I can't see the entire envelope. So I'm gonna to go to my bottom left-hand corner design space, click on the minus sign one time, now I can see all the pieces. I'm gonna drag my balloons or my clouds out of the way for the moment. And I wanna change the direction of the envelope. So I have the envelope selected. The top toolbar under rotate, I'm gonna type in the number 90. All right, now I'm gonna drag these pieces over. Now I can't attach these when the envelope has the attached score mark. So I wanna click on the envelope on the right hand side toolbar at the very bottom. Click on detach. Now it will look like nothing happened, but if you move the envelope out of the way, you can see the score marks aren't going with it and that's what we wanted. I'm gonna undo that to put it back where it goes. And I'm gonna drag each cloud over. I need to move them to front. So having the cloud selected, top toolbar under arrange, click move to front. Do the same for each cloud. Arrange, move to front. And then the last one here, arrange, move to front. Now these are set to cut, but I wanna use the writing tool. So I'm gonna click on each cloud. Again, on the right-hand side toolbar, you will see where they're located, they'll be highlighted. I'm gonna click on the scissors and change that to write. Do the same for this one. Make that be right. And that one as well. Make that be right. All right, now you wanna take your left mouse button holding it down when you have the piece the way you like it. Take your left mouse button across the entire design, right hand side toolbar at the very bottom, click on attach. That's gonna put the score mark or the balloons on the envelope for us using the marker tool. Back to my bottom left hand corner design space, I'm gonna click on the plus sign so you're able to see the card up front. And I do wanna add text to my card as well. 
left hand side toolbar, click on the text tool. I'm going to type in thanks for the pick me up. I think that's fun for a balloon card. All right, so I have my text selected, very top toolbar. I'm going to click on alignment and click on center. I'm going to click where it says font. Up top, I'm going to click on Cricut. Go to the right and click on filter and choose writing style. And the font I chose for this one was the birthday bash, I believe. Yes, birthday bash. I'm going to change that one. You'll see the font here change. I'm going to use the arrow keys to make my font a little bit smaller to fit on my card. And I want that to be on the bottom right hand corner. Move that little piece out of my way. I'm going to make my text be a little bit larger here. I think that looks pretty good. Now again, with the same with the envelope, I want to attach the text to the blue piece. So I'm going to click on my text, hold down shift on your keyboard, then click on the blue layer. On the right hand side toolbar at the very bottom, click on attach. And you'll see there it attaches the marker tool to that piece as well. All right, top toolbar on the very right, click on make it. And we'll see all the colors we have here. So we have the balloons here that we're going to be cutting out. Our envelope that's going to be cutting out the envelope, drawing on the, the clouds and using the scoring tool. Our gray, our gray layer here. And again, I'll use a pattern paper. The base of the card along with the pieces down here at the very bottom. Then we have the brown layer with the balloon base the gray color, and the blue. I'm going to go to my bottom right, click on continue, cut these out with the table, and put our card together. All right, guys, we have all of our pieces cut out. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and assemble the envelope. Just finger pressing that on the scar marks to get them started. And the last one over here. Alright, then I'm going to take my bone folder and just go ahead and give each one of them a better crease. Alrighty, I'm going to bring these guys down and I'm using art glitter glue. I get this from maymaymadeit.com. I'm going to put some glue along the little flap right here. I'm going to go ahead and fold them over. Now our envelope is finished. Give that a rub, let the glue kind of stick to the paper there. Isn't that cute? All right, now we have our card base. Go ahead and do the same thing there, fold that in half. And I have a brown piece here. I'm going to give that a better crease here. All right, take the brown, again, our glitter glue on the back of this one. that all in there, straight and centered. All right now we have our blue piece. Now before I do anything, I want to grab my clouds. I'm also going to take my embossing buddy. We did this um, last week on our seasonal Saturday with that blue piece. I'm kind of putting this on here and dabbing it just to give me like a haze on that blue piece. And again, if you don't have this, you could use a baggie filled with cornstarch or baby powder. All right, now we're going to go ahead and glue our clouds on. Put one toward the top here. If you want to, you can come back in and ink the clouds as well. All right, then the piece for the bottom where our text is. Kind of get it as close as I can, then I'll have to cut that off. Grab scissors, flip it over, and just cut off the extra piece right there. I know you can see on my original one, I did go ahead with the Cricut marker and go ahead and do um, dots around. I'm not going to do dots on this one just to save a little bit of time. But you can use the black marker or the white marker. Take this one, we're going to adhere that to the front. I really do enjoy the Cricut marker tool. I love that you're able to just to put a greeting on there and, you know, they're doing it. So you don't have to worry about your handwriting or that kind of thing. All right, now 
we have this piece here. That was the circle I cut out in the pattern paper. I'm going to put that there. Just so the, the top of the balloon has a little bit of the pattern to it. All right, now we're going to go ahead and assemble the rest of the pieces. Put that on there, lining it up on the side. All right, then we have the orange layer. Now I tried to pull the colors as close as I can from that piece there. I think it looks okay. And layer that one on top of that one there. I'll lift it up, make sure I get that lined up nicely there. Okay. All right, do the bottom. And I did also cut out a piece of white cardstock that is a six and three quarters by four and three quarters to go on the inside of the card. Whenever I'm working with a color cardstock, I like adding the white on the inside. Even when I'm working with a white base, I often sometimes will add a colored cardstock on that as well. But this time I just use the white. Alrighty. I'm going to scooch that over a little bit. So I have the white. Now to tie the two together from the outside to the inside, I did cut a piece of that same pattern. This is a half inch by, I don't know, maybe seven or so. A little bit bigger than my white. I'm going to put glue on that one, and I'm going to put it on the right hand side. Make sure it's straight, and if not, you can purposely go crooked. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the extra piece of that one. I always cut off more than I need, because if I were to cut it to be exactly six and three quarters, I'd probably be a tad bit short. All right, let's go ahead and put that on the inside. I want the border on the right. Nope, I don't think this is six and three quarters. All right, we're gonna go with it. On this one here, you can see I did cut it the right size. So, oh no, that's why I put brown behind it. All right, I didn't put the brown behind that. Hang on, I think I may have a brown piece over here already cut, just in case. I do, okay, so I used the white and the brown on this piece. I'm going to lift that up. Careful. Now, art glitter glue, that's like cement, I tell you. Okay. I'm going to take this one and glue that to the brown layer. So this white piece is actually four and a half by six and a half. And then brown is the six and three quarters by four and three quarters. But if you don't want the brown, you don't have to have the brown layer. I'm going to flip it over and just kind of give everything a little rub. It's all kinds of wrinkly now. All right, put this back on there. So if you want to have just a white layer, you can do that as well. All right, let's put this back on there. There we go, much better. All right, so there's that one. All right, now we're going to go ahead and flip this guy over and pop him up. I'm using little foam squares, and I'm going to use five on the top of the balloon kind of all four corners and then in the middle as well. And I'm going to use probably just two on the bottom. I think that's good. All right, give them a little squish and take the backing off. And that quick, our card's done. Isn't it a cute card? If you want to, you can also resize it in Design Space to be a normal A2 size card. But I sometimes like the larger cards every now and then. All right, I'm going to kind of put it A little bit of an angle like that all right so there you have it guys there's that one there and again i did go in with the brown on my original one with the cricut marker just to outline that i also did it for the inside as well but again if you don't want to do that you don't have to you can do the brown or the black pen or the white but any questions guys let me know as always thanks so much for watching have a great day and i will see you guys next time Bye bye